All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use Trade Locker, everything from doing market orders to doing pending orders, uh, positions, pending trades, trades, history, how to add different pairs, the charting. I'm just going to be showing you guys everything there is with Trade Locker, how to use it, and my overall opinion, what I like about it, the pros, the cons and fu the future things coming out with it. So uh, hopefully this video helps and, helps and educates you guys in some shape or in form. As always, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to constantly put out bigger and better education for you guys. So for those that are not aware, uh, there's been a lot of things going on the past couple of weeks with a lot of Forex brokers losing their MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 license. Uh, a lot of a lot of just changes overall being made in Forex uh, and just life in general. You know, like anything, guys, things always change, and we just have to constantly, you know, adapt and evolve with with times. You know, uh, perfect example. At one point in life, when we were driving our vehicles, get from point A to point B, we needed to use a map, right? And then eventually, in time became a digital map where oh my god you could use gps where you had to plug into your cigarette lighter and then in time it went from gps to now being able to use your cell phone gps and then in time now every vehicle is equipped with gps so things are always changing in life and we constantly have to adapt and things change for the better things never change for the worse so when i first got into forex trading guys i was using mt4 and i'll be honest when i first saw mt4 for the very first time i was like a deer in the headlights i was confused there's a lot to learn uh, there's still a lot of things with MT4 that I didn't learn uh, with trading uh, that I could have learned even more. So this broker platform, well, this is the platform. The broker is Osprey that I use. The link below this YouTube video. So if you guys are interested in signing up, click the very first link or the very first or second link below this YouTube video. But this is the trading platform that I've been using. And I must say, I really, really like it a lot. And if I was completely new to trading, and I'll be honest with you guys, if someone showed me TradeLocker, this platform, and then they showed me MT4, this is by far 10 times easier to use. And there's they're already going to be coming out with a lot of updates in quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four of 2024. So I did do some tweaking with TradeLocker to try and get the charting as close as I could to what I like from a setting standpoint as far as the body, the borders, the wicks. Very, very similar, right? So this is basically, you know, what, what's interesting is that a lot of Forex traders use trading view, right? They use trading view and then for all their charting and then they execute their trades on MT4. I see everyone doing that. I really never liked that whole idea, but the problem is with trading view, you can't execute your trades with trading view and then basically have it populate on MetaTrader 4. So you kind of have to bounce back and forth. What's nice about Trade Locker is that you can basically do everything right here. So I can actually go ahead and cancel my trading view premium package because I could do everything right here, all the charting, all the trades. Now, I've, this is basically if you took MT4 and you took TradingView and they had a baby, this is it. So it is pretty cool. I'm going to show you guys basically around this Trade Locker platform. This is a live account. I basically have I have three accounts. I have three accounts with uh, my broker, and then on this platform, obviously the small account flip, uh, my large account. Uh, and then this another small account where I've basically been growing this side account. Uh, so perfect example here, we have US 30. These are my favorites. Uh, if I hit this little star, then it basically shows me all the Forex pairs. And I mean, the whole list, I could search pretty much anything in here. If, if I wanted to, I could even search Tesla, right? So if I click on Tesla, it pulls up the Tesla chart and then I can actually right click on it and add it to my favorites, right? So that was added to my favorites, gives me a little star. If I get rid of this, clear the search, and I hit my star up here, then boom, there's Tesla. There's all my favorites, okay? So basically that's how you create your watch list or like you would do in TradingView is that you just type in the search what you want, right? And then you're basically just adding it. So like let's say US dollar JPY, there it is right there. You got Pro, 
mini, but there's my US dollar JPY. I can pull up the chart. And then from there, I can just right click on it and add it to my favorites, right? So if I clear my search, go to my favorites, there's US dollar JPY. So my list will eventually grow in time. Now, going from left hand side, all your, these are all your tools, just like you would use in Trading View. Trading View, uh, you got Fibonacci retracement, but if you click on this little arrow here, then you could basically, you know, you have all your little retracements, uh, all your arrows, rays, cross line, and just like uh, Trading View, you can basically, you know, add these to your favorites bar, which is what I have right here. So for for those that you know, no, I like to basically use my rectangle tool and basically draw, draw that with my little arrow, uh, draw my resistance lines, my support lines, basically everything in trading view I could do right here on trade locker, not only from my computer, right? From my phone as well. Anything I do on the desktop or excuse me, anything I do in the browser will automatically populate to my cell phone. Now, uh, trade, trade locker is going to be launching a um desktop so you can be able to download it and you don't have to go to the browser anymore so i'm actually going to talk about something really really exciting coming out with trade locker that i think you guys are really really gonna really really like and really really love so now going up here obviously you got your you know you could basically change your time five minute uh 15 minute you have your different indicators you can use you basically have your bars candles lines if you want a line chart there's your line chart there's your bar chart uh this is your indicator template and again, down here, uh, you know, it's it's just like trading view, guys. Just like trading view, you could you know make things smaller, tighter, move the chart around, right? It is just like trading view, if not better, right? So I mean, obviously, you know, chart by trading view, it is trading view, <laughs> it is trading view. So I don't want to really, I don't want people commenting and be like, oh, dude, it is trading view. But nonetheless, you could do everything right with this. So you basically they took trading view and MT4 and combined them. Now. Trades, trades, trades. So what you see down here is basically you see your positions uh, down here, positions, pending, trades. Now, if I go to trades, if I go to day, refresh this, and I go to history. If I go to history and go to day, you can basically see today I took a, I took some small trades with this account. I took a buy market. Um, a buy market, I made $292 with 10 lots. Uh, point, excuse me, point 0.10, and then I took another US 30 trade. I took a sell, point zero 0.04, and I made $75. So this is a separate account that I'm trading, and I'm going to talk about the copy trading part at the end of this video. So overall today, P&L, with this, with just with this account, was 367. Um, uh, so that's my history for the day. And then my trade, it basically goes over your trades. Uh, what's, cool, what's cool about this is this is a lot like um this is a lot like what you see right here is that this is a lot like how st stock broker platforms are where it basically shows you your buy and then your sell so it shows you where you bought it you bought it at 37 622.45 and then you saw uh, basically sold it at 37 651.69 and that gave you 292 dollars of profit this trade here i sold it at 37604.52 and then i basically closed the trade at 37589 and so this trade here so what's cool about this is this is exactly how so obviously i came from trading stocks this is exactly how stock broker platforms are you can see that this trade i made fucking 292 dollars in like three minutes 1627 54 16 so 27, 28, 29, 30, three fucking minutes. In three, three fucking minutes, I made $292 off 0.10 lot of US 30. Now, this is what this is what gets even better. You guys ready for this shit? You ready for this? You ready for this? Now, when a lot of people were on MT4, a lot of my students were on MT4, they're always like, the question I always get from people is like, well, how big of an account size? How big of an account size? Do I need to make that kind of profit? How big of an account size do I need to have to take that fucking size? So I took 0.10 lots of US 30, made $300, 300 fucking dollars in three fucking minutes, right? So let's go to US 30, dirty 30. Now, what's cool about this, this is this is actually what's really, really cool. This is where they nailed it. They completely nailed it. Now, US 30, if I put in 0.10, so if I click here up and down, 0.10 
I need basically $1,874 to take 0 .10, 0 .10. So to take that, to take 0 .10 lots, I need an $1,874 account. So I used $1,874, right? It's, call it $1,900. I used $1,900 to make $300 in three minutes by the chart, by the setup. That's not bad. That's actually really, really fucking good. Now, what's inter again, people always ask me with a small account, right? So let's say you start with a $300 account. A $300 account, you'd really want to focus on NAS 100. Now with a $300 account, here we are, NAS 100. Um, let me go back here. Was I looking at the wrong one? No, I was on the right one. Okay, so basically, yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go to NAS 100. So NAS 100, if you have a $300 account, you could basically take point, point 0.03. So point 0.03 lots will be cost you 245.84. Again, you want to start. I always tell people you want to start more with more, start with more than $300. But that is how I've always been able to grow these small accounts. Is obviously by taking small size and basically scaling scaling it up. But this, this, what's cool about this trade locker is that this is basically taking all the guesswork. This is basically doing everything for you. So before, I'd have to manually figure out with my Excel spreadsheets, okay, how big of, how much size can I take, right? I, I, I'd have to like manually figure out every, every fucking day based on my account size. Well, this is doing it for me. So if I have a, if I have a $300 account, if I have a $300 account, okay, I could take 0 .03 lots. And let's say if I make $200, okay, so now my account's at 500, but what position size can I take? Okay, so if my account's 500, okay, so now I can take 0 0.06 because it's telling me 491.60. So yeah, I'm basically going f balls to the walls, but now I went from taking 0 0.03 lots to now 0 0.06. Now let's say if I make $500, so now I got a $1,000 account. So if I've got a $1,000 account, right, I can basically take... 12 lots. Okay, so I can take 0.12. So this isn't me going full balls to the wall scale, maxing shit out, right? But next thing is going to be two different kinds of orders. You got market order and pending order. So if I click this little button right here, market pending, market pending. If I do a market order, and let's say if I sell right now, right? Let's say if I sell right now, right? Hit sell, then it's going to put me in the trade, okay? Uh, if I do a pending order, then it's basically, I'm basically saying, hey, I only want to get into this trade if it breaks this wick right here. So if I put this pending order here. I can basically hit sell. Okay, so now it's a pending order. I actually want to move this fucker down because I actually don't want to get, uh, I don't want to be in this fucking trade. Actually, I want to put this down. Actually, let's go 0.85. Okay, so I got a pending this. Yeah, you know what? I, I'm I'm stupid because I forgot if you click on it, you could drag it up and down, right? I could drag this up and down and then hit confirm. So let's say if I want this pending, like down here, I want to say sell it for the break of this body. I could just click and drag it, and hit confirm. Now, everything I'm doing right now on my computer, I could basically do the same shit on my phone. Um... But once I hit, like, so I can put my pending order out there, and let's say if I get filled, I can put a stop loss, hit my stop loss, I put my stop loss maybe there, take profit down here. I can say, okay, I'm going to basically take 0 .01 lot, and if it comes down, I can make five dollars seventy four cents, or lose six ninety eight, or I could even I could change this. So let's say if I want to uh, risk ten dollars to make. Uh, uh, profit of twenty dollars. Then I hit confirm. Now I got a pending order out there. For if it fills my order and comes down, right, I'll make twenty bucks. If it goes up, I'll lose ten dollars. And that's point zero one lot. Now if I increase that bastard, say point twenty, hit confirm. Boom. Got a pending order, so if it comes down, I'll make $400. If it goes up, I'll lose $200. But that's a pending order. So now, obviously, I'm going to discard this. Say if I, if I want to delete this order, I just hit this little X. Boom. My order has been deleted. So market order, 
obviously if I hit a market order, I'll instantly be in the trade, instantly be in the trade. Um, and I don't really want to take a trade right now because the market hour, market time. But uh, what's cool is if I hit this little up arrow, I could change, I could switch this to pending market, pending market. So if I do market order, um, I can actually do what's cool is that before I put a market order, I can actually choose what my stop loss might take profit to be. So if I say I'm going to take 0 0.05 lots, my stop loss, you could do a percentage. I could do like 1%. I'm risking 1% to make 3%, right? Now, obviously, that's a huge push up. Um, so I'm risking 1%. It would, I'd want it to go from actually, actually it's not. It's from 16391 to 16441. That's actually not. But I could choose. I could say, okay, I'm risking 1% to make 3%. I'm risking 1% to make 2%. You see what I'm saying? Or I'm risking 0.5% to to make 1%. Okay. And if I hit execute buy right now, boom, it's gonna just market me in, and then I automatically have my stop loss and take profit set. It, you yes, you could do this with MetaTrader 4, but not to this extent. You would, you know, this is basically breaking down to, from a percentage standpoint, uh, to, or to even a, a a dollar standpoint. Let's say if I want, I'm risking fifty dollars to make a hundred dollars every single day. Every single day, I want to take 0 0.05 lots. I want to risk fifty dollars to make a hundred dollars. That is how you would do it, or even like I said, a pending, right? So you do a pending. Uh, I'm risking right there. I'm risking. I want to buy it if it breaks, say this body right here. Boom. So see how it's moving. See how it's moving. Where I'm adjusting my pending order. It's moving. It's 50 by 100, right? So it's 50 there. 50. So every well, no matter where I put this pending order, right? And right now it's a buy. So if I flip it, right? Then it's basically the same thing, right? So let's say I'm like, oh, okay, uh, NAS 100. I want to sell you when you break this support area. I want to sell you right here and once you start coming down, boom, fill my order. And then if you push up, I'll lose 50 bucks. But I don't think you're going to push up. I think you're going to keep coming. I think I think you're going to keep um, – I think you're going to keep coming down is what I think you're going to do here. So I'm going to look to sell you, and I'm going to set it and forget it, right? I'm going to sell you, pending order, boom, fill it. If it pushes up, I'm out 50 bucks. Fuck it. But if I'm right, I win $100, okay? That is how beautiful and easy this is to do. So I have to obviously want to delete my pending order because uh, I don't want an actual order out there. So I'm going to basically delete my pending order, and that's that. I'm not going to take any trade with this one. Now, beautiful part. Okay, so I told you guys, if you, hopefully if you stay with me to the very end, you're going to hear something really cool that this trade locker is going to be launching in it was supposed to be Q1, but now it's Q2. So this is Trade Locker's website, and this is a roadmap. This is basically telling you everything that's coming out in Q1, Q2, and the next gen. Now, Q1, they're obviously going to be re releasing a desktop app. So you won't need to use a browser like I'm using right now. They're going to have a risk calculator, right? Determines order size based on stop loss settings, custom scripts, on charting, trailing stop loss. This is the best part, trailing stop loss default stop loss and take profit. So like I, you know, how you basically saw me entering the take profit and stop loss, they're going to, it's going to be basically a default setting, uh, stop loss rate, take profit ratio, maintain fixed ratios for risk management and different themes. Now for every single person that clicks the link below this video and signs up under the broker using my link, you will have the option in Q2 for the copy trading, which means follow and replicate the strategies of a successful trader. So what that means is, is that for anyone that signs up under my link below this YouTube video, you'll have the fucking option, the option to toggle a switch, a button to any time I place a fucking trade. It automatically copies to your own trade locker account so basically everything you saw me do right so today with us 30 or nas 100 when i put my signals in the telegram nobody has to like manually type it out right so if i say hey guys i'm looking to buy um nas 100, uh, us 30 so like 
this beautiful move. I say, hey guys, uh, looking to buy US 30 um, at such and such price, but I it's going to get to the point where I, I don't even need to type that out. I can just tell myself, all right, I'm going to buy right here for this squeeze up, hit buy, and then it automatically applies it to everyone's name that toggled under, underneath my account. That is pretty fucking cool. So not only am I going to continue to make money every single day, everyone underneath my belt is going to make money day in and day out, hands free. That is pretty cool. I mean, so that's Q2. They're coming out with that. Uh, obviously, public profiles. And then next gen is obviously going to be custom stop loss logic, show offs, strategy, back testing, trades, jet mode, affiliate mode. I mean, it's a lot of cool. As you guys can see, it's a lot of cool shit. MT4. MC5 has never had anything like this, so I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm loving this so far. Hopefully, this video helps and educates you guys on how to use uh, this Trade Locker platform. It is super, super, super easy. Uh, I could change this to bigger screen, right? And then if I hit this right here, you could see I can basically drag. Oops, uh, where, why is this not dragging over? I might have to. There we go. There we go. So I could basically drag this left to right if I wanted to. Okay, drag this left to right, click, get rid of that. I can get rid of this and just have a bigger overall screen here. Um, so again, loving this, loving this, loving this. If I right click, I can basically reset the chart and see, see and do everything. It's a one-stop shop platform. So I told my members I'd make this YouTube video showing them how to use TradeLocker platform to trade on this video was 20 minutes long so if you how if you basically watch this to the very end i really appreciate all the love support it's 2024 we're gonna crush it day in and day out again click the link below this youtube video if you want to be part of my vip telegram signals group also click the link below this youtube video if you guys are interested in signing up underneath my name with the same forex broker i'm using and get access to the trade locker copy trading underneath my trades my account coming up q2 as you guys can see it's right here on trade lockers platform hopefully you love the video subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and remember guys we're not going to go broke because we never skip a beat cheers